in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this uh, title slide or the intro slide in powerpoint or this also can be used for brochure or a flyer a template so you can see here i have just added one image here and then i have added some shapes here and then i have just put a text uh, the adventure begins and then you can replace your own uh, title here along with the detailed text and I have added one more slide where I have just put some a uh, little animation to it So whichever way you feel without animated or animated one you can uh, use it So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint Add a new slide. I have changed the background to this gradient fill right mouse click go to format background You can see here. I have added two stops here and I've taken the type as linear and this one color i have just taken the dark teal here and here i have taken the color as black at the bottom now i'm going to insert shapes from the rectangle select the first option which is the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then go to insert again shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle till top again shape outline make it no outline then go to rotate you can just say flip horizontal you can see something like this and then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this one and just add the other side also you can see here i can not like this i can make it flip vertical and then just say flip horizontal so you end up getting like this and hold the shift key select all these three shapes you can see here under format merge shape make it a union so you end up getting one size like this if you want you can just reduce the size or maybe you can leave it this much also the next step is i'm going to make it more smaller parts of this so press ctrl d to duplicate this you can see here i've just duplicated maybe i'll give some different color and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep only this much part here for that i'm going to duplicate this again you can see here give some other color and i'm going to for example say that okay this green color which is visible i'm going to keep only that one so first of all i'm going to select this uh, this shape and then select the other one something like this and you can go to merge shape and you can just say subtract so you end up getting like this here i'm just going to add one here and later on we can change some other colors also if you want you can just press ctrl d also you can add one more this side and this one i'm just going to cut it go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the rectangle you can see here i'm going to cut this one again select the green one hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract again if you want you can add further more and start reducing the size the same way again i can just reduce it and then merge shape subtract and if you want a bigger also you can do it again let me just duplicate this you can see here and again let me just change the color to some other color again duplicate give some other color here and i want this much big here you can see here so i'm going to select this first hold the shift key select the green one merge shape and subtract you can see here so this one i'm going to put it here and later on i'm going to reduce the transparency of this one so likewise so many things you can do it if you want you can make it a smaller also i'm going to select this again you can see here and i'm going to keep only this much and again subtract it give some different color here and randomly you can just add here and there you can see here something like this you can do it so many things you can do with this one and you can add few more lines or these shapes here also so once you have added all the shapes and then it's time to add the image here to add the image i'm going to select this one you can see here under fill go to picture or texture fill and click on insert and from file you need to select and which of uh, image or photo you need to add it you can just add it there 
so you can see here i have selected this image but this image is upside down so what i need to do here is just go down here and just untick this one you can see here rotate with shape untick this one and then you can start playing with this one offset right you can see here i can just move it something like this whichever position uh, you want you can keep it and this one i can give some same dark teal color and make it more transparent you can see here something like this and this color i'm going to select it and give some uh, orange color or you can use some gradient fill also here here also i can use some different color you can see here maybe this color i can use it and here again i can use maybe white and increase the transparency level so many things you can do for on this particular shapes you can see here here i have not added you can add few more also in this one and then you can add some uh, your main title here for that go to insert text box i'm going to the just say here in caps add your you can see here add your i'm going to make it a white font italic i'm going to make it bold and the font i'm going to use the century gothic you can see here increase the size something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to just say title here make the size bigger you can see here and this one you can change the color to maybe orange or whichever color you can prefer you can just do this one here and at the bottom you can add some detailed text here I'm going to say equals lorem within brackets one so it will give me some latin text this one i'm going to use some light gray color again the same font century gothic reduce the font size and i'm going to justify this one you can see here and i'm just going to put it here so you can see here our uh, basic design is ready if you want you can add some company logo here and some options if you want you can add it here if you want some text also you can add it on top of the photo there are so many things you can think of doing on this particular slide and the last part is uh, you can think of doing some animations there are a lot of animations you can do it uh, i cannot explain all these things but you can use your own creativity or imaginations and uh, do this one for example let me just select this one and you can see here i can go to the animations uh, enable the animation play pane let me just close the format shape and this one i can just say fly in i can say fly in maybe from left it comes something like this here i can select this one and i can just say again this one fly in maybe from right it comes something like this and this one maybe you can use some different lot of animations are there you can see here maybe i can use it uh, a compress so you can see a compress i'm using an animation painter i can click on this so many things which you can do with this one and this should happen all maybe with previous or or there should be a small gap in between if i play it looks something like this you can see here and even even you can just cut this one into half also and then you can two images you can bring together so many things you can do with this one so it's up to you how you want to use that one That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.